In this video, we'll take the starter off of a 350 engine. The starter itself is held on by two bolts. Make sure the battery's disconnected. These bolts usually come out pretty easy. I usually pull the starter down a little bit so I can get to the wires a little easier. These starters are real heavy. The ground wire comes off with an 11 32nd wrench. If you can get a socket in there, it's a lot easier. To take off the positive wire, it's a 9 16 With these wires off, the starter can come out. Make sure you clean these connections on the way back in. I'll show you a close-up of the power terminals. 11 seconds on the ground, 9 16 on the power. That's how you take off the starter on a Chevy 350.